that have died 10 years ago are still voting. Illegal immigrants are voting. I mean, where are the street smarts of some of these politicians? They don't have any, is right. So many cities are corrupt, and voter fraud is very, very common. The following information comes from Rigged election. By now, you've heard the claims from Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump, but his allegations of dead voters still voting has actually happened, and it's happened here in Miami. Voter fraud even led to the removal of the city's mayor nearly 20 years ago. CBS4's Elliot Rodriguez is in the control room with a look back at Miami's history with Donald Trump's big concern. Elliot. Well, Ruta Bay, allegations of voter fraud are nothing new in South Florida. They date back decades decades and have led to arrests and lawsuits. They even led to a mayor being removed from office. But election officials say times have changed, technology has improved, and the most common type of voter fraud is being kept in check. History has shown us that most voter fraud in South Florida does not take place on election day. It usually happens when absentee ballots are falsified. Absentee ballot fraud has led to many arrests and lawsuits over the years in South Florida. In 1997, it led to the removal of Miami Mayor Xavier Suarez. No one in my campaign, no one has done anything improper. The courts disagreed, removing Suarez from office and replacing him with Joe Carollo. In 2012, property appraiser Pedro Garcia claimed absentee ballot fraud led to his defeat by Carlos Lopez Cantera, now Florida's lieutenant governor. This is a very clear case of sour grapes. Florida law requires voters to show ID when they vote. Voter rolls are checked periodically to prevent dead people from voting, which happened in that infamous 1997 election. And all absentee ballots require matching signatures on request forms and ballots. When an absentee ballot is delivered to our office, we check the signature on that ballot and we compare it to what we have on record. If that signature doesn't match, it goes through several levels of review, and these are all people who have been through signature verification training. Suspicious-looking ballots go to the canvassing board, made up of the supervisor of elections and two county court judges, who decide if the ballot should be counted or tossed to protect the integrity of the election. Elections in the state of Florida are not rigged. And as elections professionals, we should be doing everything we can to build voter confidence and not have it broken down. Well, after the disastrous 2000 presidential election in Florida, the state changed its equipment to paper ballots, allowing officials to manually audit election results, giving them another weapon against rigged elections. In the control room, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.